Hey guys, Solange here. Just completed day 33 of our 22 minute hardcore journey. Um, this is our challenge group, it's my turn. And we've been talking about form for the past um, week. Just some extra tips um, about your the alignment of your body. So notice that Tony Horton spent some time at the beginning of each video. Um, each third of the section before each workout um, right in the beginning he shows the specific moves to ensure that you're paying attention to what he's teaching um, because the last thing you want to do is hurt your body so you guys I don't pretend to be um, a super trainer or anything like that I'm simply sharing those tips that have helped me along the journey and I truly believe um, that yes we go out we make our own mistakes yes definitely but if there's a way to avoid injury hurting yourself making your process more arduous than it should be then why not um, I definitely share these tips to help in that respect um, so say for example your push-ups you really want to pay attention to your alignment Engaging your muscles, your core is going to be very important um, to help with that back support. So when you're doing your push-ups, you want your shoulders, elbows, and wrists all in line. Um, and then your back is going to be straight. You don't want your butt high up in the air or your hips to sag below. Um, you want to tighten up that area, um, engage your hips, engage your core. That protects your back as you're going down so there's not a like a dip it should be as straight as you could possibly make it um, of course my well-endowed sisters and brothers um, remember even though you have um, a bigger portion one that I would enjoy too you don't want it to stick up in there so be very conscious about that um, then with your legs, the placement of your feet, just like your hands, the distance will depend on the type of push-up that you're doing. So I like to have my feet wider. My husband actually has his feet closer together. He gave me this tip um, when I was struggling doing these push-ups when I just started. Um, so, and another person, Shalene Johnson, if you've never done Pio, I encourage you to go there um, even you just doing that first um, workout um, alignment she really does a good job of teaching you the specifics for every single move that you do um, and those are the basis of a lot of the workout that we do period um, so your push-ups will depend the positioning of your hands and feet depend um, on the move that you're doing but the basis of the, the alignment will be the same no matter what type of push-up you're doing um, then with your squats you really want to protect your back again and your knees um, so you're in you're going down into a seated position your chest is lifted you're looking at posture here this is going to help um, overall uh, your head is upright but not over extended you want to pretend that there's a tennis ball an apple right beneath your chin um, and as you squat as you're sitting you're keeping your chest upright so your knees and um, ankles your knee should be in line with your ankles as best as you can as long as your knees are not going over your toes when you look down you should see the top of your foot that's how you know if you're doing that one properly um, and you guys if you're not able to go down the full way it's okay just um, go as far as you can go with or without weights depending on the move that you're doing um, just ensuring that you pay attention to form one thing that 
helps me of course is modification so with the push-ups you're in a plank position first and then you go down on your knees you always start in the full position plank position and then go down on your knees that will help you um, with knowing exactly where your knees should be um, and another thing that can help is recording um, your workouts and that's why I really started doing mine um, and then I started sharing it so then you could go back and see because sometimes it's hard to know if you're actually doing it correctly so you could go back and see what how you did um, you can also ask a friend or family member to sit in it's only 22 minutes to sit in to see if you're doing what they're doing on the screen you can also get yourself a mirror so those things um, will be helpful to you um, I do hope that these tips have helped you and I look forward to continuing this journey with you so see you tomorrow for another update and day 34 already you guys bye <laughs>